This is the read aloud for the piano. Fourth grade. Graya did not like change. She didn't like it when they changed the design on the wrapper of her favorite kind of ice cream, strawberry mango. She didn't like it when her father shaved his beard because it made him look too young. And she didn't like it when she came home to find this thing in the living room. It was old and brown and heavy, and it practically took, took up a whole wall. It had yellow teeth and it made noise. It was a piano. When her older brother Richard started banging on the instrument with his elbows, Greta ran to her room and closed the door. That's when she noticed something even worse. The toy chest was now in the middle of her room. This was the toy chest that had stood against the wall in the living room forever. Don't you like our new family member? Greta, Greta's mother asked from outside the door. Greta opened the door and blurted, where did you get that thing? The Kleins were moving out and they didn't want to move it. The Kleins are moving? That meant more change. The Kleins had always lived in the apartment down the hall. It was all too much. Yes, and it will all be fine, said Greta's mother, and she walked back toward the living room. Greta closed the door, flopped onto her bed face down, and did what she always did when she didn't like what was going on. She fell asleep. In her dream, Greta was floating on a raft in the middle of the river. The breeze stirred the water and made the most beautiful sound. The sound rose and fell and became louder when the wind became stronger. Greta woke up and opened her eyes, but the sound continued. She got up and stumbled into the living room where her mother sat on the piano. The sound was pouring out of her mother's fingers, but she was looking straight ahead with her head cocked slightly to the right. Then she stopped playing and remained still in a different world. Come and sit here, Greta's, Greta's mother said as she scooted over and patted on the bench next to her. I didn't know, Greta began. Of course you didn't know because I never told you I could play. I started when I was five years old. Why did you stop? I didn't really stop. I guess I kind of drifted away from it. When I moved out of my parents' house, I left the piano behind and I never got another one. Greta stared at her mother's face, which held a half smile. You should never have stopped, said Greta. You might be right, Greta's mother said, and she stole a quick look at her daughter. Greta felt like her mother had just told her a secret and a bubble of warmth rose inside of her. Will you play some more, she asked. Item one, selected response. What is the most likely reason Greta's mother invites Greta to sit on the piano bench with her? A, she would like to show Greta how to play the piano. B, she knows Greta is upset and is trying to comfort her. C, she would like to explain to Greta how she learned to play the piano. And D, she knows Greta is nervous about having new neighbors. Item two, selected response. Which explain, explanation best describes the meaning of the phrase drifted away from it as it is used in these sentences from the story? I didn't really stop. I guess I kind of drifted away from it. When I moved out of my parents' house, I left the piano behind and I never got another one. A, Greta's mother stopped enjoying music. B, Greta's mother felt sad about playing music. C, Greta's mother stopped playing the piano bit by bit. D. Greta's mother suddenly finished listening to a song. Item three. At the end of the story, Greta asked her mother, will you play some more? Based on the story, why does Greta most likely ask this question? A. She wants her neighbors to hear her mother playing the piano. B. She worries that her mother does not like playing the piano. C. She hopes her mother can become better at playing the piano. D, she enjoys hearing her mother play the piano. Now, item four, why does the author use dialogue in the scene at the piano? A, to show how Greta's feelings are changing. B, to show why Greta's mother is upset. C, to show Greta's excitement about having new neighbors. And D, to show that Greta's mother worries, Greta's mother worries about her daughter. Item five, which sentence correctly states the point of view in the story? A, the story is told by a narrator who provides Greta's point of view. B, the story is told by a narrator who provides Greta's mother's point of view. C, the story is told by a narrator who provides Richard's point of view. And D, the story is told by a narrator who provides many family members' points of view. Item six, which best word, excuse me, which word best 
describes Greta's mother? A, generous, B, humorous, C, talented, D, forgiving. Part B, which sentence from the story best supports the answer in part A? A, yes, and it will all be fine, said Greta's mother when she walked back toward the living room. B, the sound was pouring out of her mother's fingers, but she was looking straight ahead with her head cocked slightly to the right. C, you might be right, Greta's mother said, and she stole a quick look at her daughter. D, Greta felt like her mother had just told her a secret, secret and a bubble of warmth rose inside her. Item seven, constructed response. Explain the theme of the piano. Use details from the story to support your answer. Write your answer on the lines on your answer document. That's it, guys. Thank you.